Hi and welcome to this tutorial from tvtrade.ie. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to convert your external hard drive from the file system NTFS to FAT32. The reason we're going to show this is a lot of our boxes um, will only recognize FAT32 and by default these days um, external hard drives usually come with uh, the NTFS file system. Now some boxes do um, recognize the NTFS system and you shouldn't have to do it in that case but we recommend that people generally do this okay so the first thing we're going to do is you have to get the program to do it okay so if you type this in to the Google search it's the Esus partition master home edition okay and the top result that will come up here is on a website called download.cnet.com okay and that will bring you to the page where you can download it okay so you just click on the download button now actually just before we go on we'll just show you here it's a free uh it's a free program and it works on the win or the operating systems windows 1000 xp vista and 7 but only on the 32-bit versions okay now so if you just click the download button and wait a second there it's saying there your download will begin in a moment okay and generally if you're doing this in the likes of um, Internet Explorer you'll get a yellow bar something like that uh, it won't download automatically if you left click on that and go download file it will come up then and give you your options okay and uh, eventually then you'll see you get this little program called epm.exe now i already have it downloaded and installed but i'm just going to cancel it there okay so there's where i have it uh, downloaded to and i have the little icon i have it just in a folder here but what you'll have is it'll probably be on your desktop this little icon here for the easus partition manager home edition okay now when you're installing the um uh, the easus partition master okay uh, you can just basically go through it. It's all the usual. You go next, 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 next. At one stage, it'll ask you, do you want to sign up for the pro version? Uh, you don't want to. You'll have to pay for that, so you can ignore that. And at the last stage of the installation process, it'll ask you to register. You can just leave all the fields blank and just go finish. Okay? So, um, basically, at the moment then, okay, I just have this window here, and I have it, my external hard drive um, hooked up to my computer here, and you can see it here, external disk F, okay? Now, at the moment, you can see it's NTFS, which most of these types of drives come with, okay? Now, what we want to do is try and um, convert that to um, FAT32. So, on your desktop, you'll have an icon like this, and you'll click on it to open the program. Okay, and this is what you'll be faced with. So you can just say, go to main screen. Okay, now it's very important you select the right drive, obviously. Uh, you don't want to wipe um, the drive in your machine. I don't think it'll let you do it anyway, but um, I know, as I've showed you already, it's the F, uh, the F drive and external disk, and it's the file system is NTFS, and it's a 320 gig um, hard drive, which actually shows up as 298.09 gigabyte. Okay, now... So if you highlight that, or the drive you want to do, and you right click, and go format partition, and I want to format it to FAT32, okay? So you click OK. So it locks the volume, so you can do nothing else with it in the meantime, okay? So now you think, oh, it's not doing anything. But the key here is, you see it has pending operations, and format partition, you know external disk f okay so what you want to do now is go up and click the apply button so it says one operation is currently pending apply the change now and there's an option to shut down the computer after changes are applied you don't want to do that so don't tick that button so I'll just click yes now it's a fairly quick process now apart from anything else um what you might use this for is the likes of xboxes and ps3s and things like that they only recognize fat 32 so um if you wanted to use it as a media player backup games or save games or things like that you'd want it as fat 32 so that's another reason you might want to do this so it says here one operation has been executed successfully 
and I'll just click the OK button and it's just updating the system information now okay so you can see now this has changed to FAT32 here which is great and just to confirm that in Windows I have it highlighted here it's saying it's FAT32 as well and actually if I just go to properties it'll say FAT32 and it's uh, 298 gigabyte and you know whatever okay so that's it uh, basically in a nutshell um, how you can uh, convert from NTFS to FAT32 um, using a program called the ESOS Partition Master Home Edition.